Section 9.5, Data Compression Using Singular Value Decomposition. The zero rows and columns of the matrix sigma in theorem 9.4.4 of the previous section can be eliminated by multiplying out the expression u sigma v transpose using block multiplication and the partitioning shown in that formula. The products that involve zero blocks as factors drop out, leaving this form right over here, which is called a reduced singular value decomposition of the matrix A. We will denote the matrices on the right side by u1, sigma1, and v1 transpose respectively, and we'll write this equation as a equals u1, sigma1, v1 transpose. Note that the sizes of u1, sigma1, and v1 transpose are n by k, k by k, and k by n respectively. So this uh, k, this k by k over here, is basically the rank of the matrix A. Note that the matrix sigma 1 is invertible and since its diagonal entries are positive, it's invertible since its diagonal entries are positive. If we multiply out the right side of the equation using the column row rule, then we obtain A equals uh, lowercase sigma 1 u1 v1 transpose plus sigma 2 u2 v2 transpose and so on up until k, which is called a reduced singular value expansion of A. It can be shown that each of these matrices have rank 1, but we won't show that. Let's do an example. How about we find a reduced singular value decomposition and a reduced singular value expansion of the matrix A given over here. We already found the singular value decomposition of this matrix in the previous section in example 2 of 9.4. So we saw that we had the matrix 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, equal to our u was uh, square root 6 over 3, square root 6 over 6, square root 6 over 6, 0, minus rad 2 over 2, rad 2 over 2, minus 1 over rad 3, 1 over rad 3, 1 over rad 3. So that was uh, our u. So we have a equals u. Now we need our sigma. So that was square root 3, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And we multiplied that by v transpose square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2, minus square root 2 over 2. So let's reduce that. Notice that we have two linearly independent column vectors in A, so the rank of A is 2, so we're going to take k equals 2 in our formula. Essentially we're going to drop this row of zeros and we're going to drop this column in u. So we'll end up with our reduced form 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 equal to square root 6 over 3, square root of 6 over 6, square root 6 over 6, 0, minus red 2 over 2, red 2 over 2, and we drop that third column. So then we'll drop the last row of the next matrix. We'll get square root 3, 0, 0, 1, and then we keep V. So square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2, and minus square root 2 over 2. So there's our singular, or reduced singular value decomposition. Let's now get the uh, expansion. So we'll write out our matrix again. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. And that'll be sigma 1, u1, v1 transpose, plus sigma 2, u2, v2 transpose, and we stop over there because k equals 2. So sigma 1 square root of 3, 
right? And we'll multiply that by square root 6 over 3, square root 6 over 6, square root 6 over 6, and multiply that by square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2 from V transpose. Add that to sigma 2 is 1, so plus 1 times our second column, 0 minus rad 2 over 2, rad 2 over 2. And now from V transpose, we get square root 2 over 2 minus square root 2 over 2. So then what we can do is multiply these matrices. So we will get square root of 3 times the matrix square root 3 over 3, square root 3 over 6, square root 3 over 6, square root 3 over 3, square root 3 over 6, and square root 3 over 6, plus 1 times 0, 0, minus half, 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 minus half. Notice that this column is the same as this column. So this matrix is rank 1. This column is a linear combination of this column. So this matrix also has rank 1. So we've rewritten our matrix A as a linear combination of rank 1 matrices. If a matrix A has size m by n, then one might store each of its mn entries individually. An alternative procedure is to compute the reduced singular value decomposition in which sigma 1 is bigger, greater than or equal to sigma 2, greater than or equal, and so on, through sigma k, and store the sigmas, the u's, and the v's. When needed, the matrix A can be reconstructed from this decomposition. Since each u has m entries and each v has n entries, this method requires storage space for kn plus kn plus k, factor out the k, we get k times n plus n plus 1 numbers. Suppose, however, that the singular values sigma r plus 1 through sigma k are sufficiently small such that dropping the corresponding terms in the decomposition produces an acceptable approximation. So we just drop uh, a whole bunch of the big sigmas and we stop at sigma r instead. And that'll be an acceptable approximation to A and the image that it represents. We call this the rank R approximation of A. This matrix requires storage space for only R times n plus n plus 1 numbers compared to uh, mn numbers required for entry by entry storage of A. As an example, let's suppose that A is a 1000 by 1000 matrix. How many numbers must be stored in the rank 100 approximation of A? Compare this with the number of entries of A. In this case, we have the R from our uh, storage space calculation equal to 100. And we have M equals N equals 1,000 because those are the uh, dimensions. So that means that we need 100 times 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1, which is 200,100 numbers. If we use uh, compression in the form of our um, singular value decomposition, and uh, if we drop you know, a bunch of the values from r to k, or r plus 1 to k, and we just approximate using r, and if we compare that versus m times n, so that's a thousand times a thousand, that would be a million entries of a without any compression. So this essentially gives us a compression of almost 80%.